Let's start the show, Herc. Let's start the show with how you ended the show on Monday, because you posed the question, could Serginho Dest redeem himself after a brutal first leg performance against PSG in the Champions League? Well, he got the shot on Wednesday. He started, he played 66 minutes in that right wing back role. He hit the post, great save from Keylor Navas. Now, in the end, it wasn't enough, right? 1-1, they lose 5-2 on aggregate. Barcelona eliminated uh, from the Champions League. By the way, Kylian Mbappe, who roasted Dest in the first leg, did get on the score sheet though it was hurt from the penalty spot. So your question now to you, did Serginho Dest redeem himself in the second leg? No, I mean, short answer is no, but let me explain. It was unfair of us to actually think he could redeem himself. The natural matchup in this uh, Champions League game between PSG and Barcelona on paper for Kylian Mbappe is Serginho Dest. So anytime Kylian Mbappe does something, it's a knock on Dest. And yeah, he did a lot. He roasted, he destroyed. Barcelona in the first leg, but that's not really on Serginho Dest. That's more on Ronald Koeman. You look at that back line, uh, Gerard Piquet played for the first time in that game and after three months of injury, uh, he had Linglet uh, next to him who's been, and uh, he's had a shocker in the last few weeks. You had uh, in front of Serginho Dest, you had Dembele, who's a defensive liability, who was at fault in the first goal, a chain reaction that led to killing Mbappe scoring. So it was never going to be a situation where he could actually redeem himself. I mean, what would he do? Score a hat trick? What's he going to do on every single play? Met killing Mbappe and say, look, look, I've done well. No, uh, killing Mbappe is who he is. He's one of the premier talents in the world. He did better. A lot better. Offensively, I think it was more important for Barcelona, more important for his team than defensively. That's really who Serginho Dest is. He's not a defending back. He's a modern-day back that you kind of want to lead the lines and come out playing with. He almost had a goal, if not for Kaylor Snavas. But uh, listen, short answer is no. He did not redeem himself. Yeah, I mean, redeem yourself is probably a little bit extreme. I'm not going to downplay it, though, because this is a player who I felt like recently, Herc, has been really down on his confidence. He struggled at the defensive yeah. end. We've seen Ronald Koeman call him out in the press uh, for missing those big moments against Mbappe in the Champions League. And I think it was starting to affect him where he's supposed to be a difference maker, and that's the attacking end. Eight days ago, I got to call the Barcelona-Sevilla Copa del Rey semifinal second leg. He started that game, and he played terrible. He went up against Marcos Acuna like five or six times. Now, Acuna is a left back, has played for Argentina in a World Cup, but still, he shut him down like he was the best left okay. back in the world, and that's where Dest is supposed to make a difference, Herc. I, I agree with you, but set, let's be a little fair with them. Let's just give this guy a break for a second. He's also been injured, battle mm -hmm. injury, and he hasn't really come back into that fold and been who he is confidence-wise, uh, and offensively, the numbers aren't there. He has one assist in uh, all competitions for Barcelona. So, yes, if you're not going to be a good defender, at least add something to the attack. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.